Hi, I'm Chef Desmonet, and tonight we have a cook along with Chef Noah Sims. We're going to be doing an upgraded patty melt um, via VIP Section TV. Um, so now we're here at Publix, so go ahead and come along while we go shopping for everything. So today wasn't a bad trip, went pretty quickly. Um, I didn't have that many items, so I did self check out. So I'll see you guys in just a few because it's almost six o'clock. Um, and let's have some. Okay. Fun. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Yo, we got a coming. Hello. Hi, Ernest. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's hot over here. Uh, <laughs> Where are you located? Yeah. I'm in New Jersey. I don't know what happened to my face. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't see it. Hi, my camera is on. Okay, there, go. Go. there we go. Got okay. it. Hello, how are you? Hi there. What, what's your name? I don't see any names at the bottom, so. Sorry, my name is Alicia. I'm joining you guys from Bakersfield, California. Okay, hi, hi. I'm Chef Desmonet. How are you? How you doing? Hi, Lisa. I'm so good. I just sent the four-year-old down the hallway so I get some official mommy time to cook with you okay. guys. <laughs> so she has a new kitchen, so she's testing out the new kitchen with us, right? Woo! Ooh, I like it. That's awesome. <laughs> you got a kitchen, kitchen. So for those, yeah. for what? What's your name? Um, iPhone. It says just iPhone at the bottom. It just says iPhone. 6. Yeah, it does. It just yeah. says iPhone. Oh, that's not cool. I'm more than an iPhone. <laughs> 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 How do I change it? It should just have my name come up. I think you have to change that in the settings. In the sudden, yeah. Just getting some of my getting some of my ingredients together. Okay. <laughs> Very much needed. Very right, much now. Let's see. If I can do cooking time is <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Did you put in yeah. did you put in the passcode? Okay. okay. You may not even need I mean I didn't have to put in the passcode. I, I just know. clicked the link. It worked for everyone. I don't know what's wrong with Is do you okay. want a computer or a phone? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to sign, um, sign in. Do you see my name on the other phone? Yes. You see it? All right. I still see it. Okay, so let me get off this one. Okay. We got, we got, we got some people in there. Let's go. I know, I see you, I see you. <laughs> I'm leaving this one. All right, we're gonna get Nora on the phone. Nora's actually trying to call, um, zoom yeah. in, just keep a few. To get him situated. Got it. Hello. Hello. How are you? 
I'm fine. I came to see you throw down. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting on Noah. He's having trouble with the link. I, I don't know why everybody else was able to get in. So give us a moment with that. Um, For those of you that will be cooking with us, if you haven't already pre-made your patties, because he's going to be doing um a Beyond Burger. I already have mine here. If you can see, I already have mine here that I uh, went ahead and made. Um, and you'll be needing the Texas toast, you'll be needing the mayonnaise, a hot sauce, an onion, cheese, and an egg. That's what you'll need okay. um, if you miss the list, okay? So again, just give me a moment. Let me see what's going on with him, if he can get in. So we shaping our patties right now is what you're saying? Yes, we are. Okay. We I'm got have a right season. Now. Any special seasoning you suggest? I would suggest a, a good seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. Um, those all work good with a good patty. Um, how you want to bind it, that's up to you. Noah, can you hear us? Can you see us? Yes, I can hear yes. you now. Okay. Oh, Hi, right, Noah. All right. Good enough. My apologies on that. <laughs> I'm trying to get off the setup. It started downpouring, so I had to like, move underneath this. I'm gonna get my camera and everything set up, all right? Okay. Yeah. Well, right now we got... we're actually pressing patties so that we'll get to the point where you're at. So that's mm -hmm. perfect. perfect. So, if you guys want to introduce yourself, those that are joining us while Noah gets sets up and you guys are shaping your patties, um, whomever wants to go first, because uh, some of you don't have okay. your name, well, so name I don't want to get there normally. I'm from Miami, Florida. Okay. Um, Geisha 305. Um, I'm tuning in to you guys because I wanted to do a Q&A about your cooking and, you know, I'm just interested in what you guys got going on and do you have a brand, do you have a restaurant? So I'm just waiting till you guys take care of what you, you're taking care of and then I want to ask all these questions. Okay, and, um, let's introduce the rest and then we kind of get to cooking and then you're more than welcome to ask us those questions. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I do not. It says Pixel 3. And what, what did you Pixel. say? Was Alicia. I'm Alicia. Okay. I thought that's what you said. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia is joining us from California. Thank you so much for joining us. And I don't know where Tashira is or Monique. Um, well, let's let them introduce themselves individually. You can yeah. just start. I just can't see them. That's why. I'm I'm... Yeah. Oh, hi. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. I wish I knew y'all were cooking that because I would have thrown mine out. I didn't throw mine out. I could have been in there. Uh -huh. See, well, next time you got to join us. I'm going to put it in the microwave for a quick second. <laughs> <laughs> put it on the deep frog. <laughs> can y'all see me and hear me okay? Yes, we can see okay. you. We can, yeah, yes. Yeah. What, what okay. do you suggest as a binder? Um, you can use an egg or you can use uh, breadcrumbs or you can use a combination of both, um, depending on how much meat you have. So I usually use two eggs and a cup of uh, breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, because it always already has a little bit of a seasoning in it. Um, so mm -hmm. it's good for a binder for your burgers. They always come out good in, in addition to the other seasoning salt, your black pepper, your garlic powder, your onion powder. Those always make a nice patty. Um, not too salty mm -hmm. just because you're putting on cheese and all these other things. You don't want to over salt your burger, especially with depending on what type of toppings you're using. Um, so always just be mindful of that that you can take you can't take salt out, but you can just put it in a little bit by a little bit. Okay. Uh, so start off small, don't overdo it. Okay. That sounds good. Are you ready for me, my introduction? I am, whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. My name is Tahira. I'm with Channel A TV. I'm a reporter and I cover all events. So okay. this will be like my third celebrity chef um, event that I'm and I'm here for Q&A and also to learn more about the, the culinary arts. Um, okay. It's something like during quarantine that everybody was stuck in the house, still some states are. 
So I'm curious to know how we can be creative in that space. That is, you are not the only one. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions <laughs> of when quarantine started, people were like really excited. Oh, we get to cook more. And then three weeks in, people were like, I don't have any more recipes. I don't even know what to cook. I'm tired of eating chicken and shrimp. I'm like, <laughs> if I eat one more chicken wing, I'm going to scream. Um, so thank you so much for joining us, Tahira. Um, and you are also allowed to do your Q&A at, at, at towards the end. Um, okay. And I think we are just waiting on Monique to introduce herself while Noah is still getting set up. Hey, Mo. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm Monique Cartwright. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and I'm basically just watching you today do your patty milk. So I've already fixed my dinner because you know, my my family be hungry. They just be food dog on hungry. So I've already got my dinner fixed, but I wanted to participate and support you and I wanted to see how you fix your patty dip, girl. Okay now. Thank you so much, Monique, for joining us in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself for those that don't know who I am. I'm Chef Desmone on a Dash of Des Catering Services. Um, we just want to thank um, but VIP Section TV for allowing us to do this on this platform. I thank you guys for all joining. We appreciate you guys being here. Um, and we just want, want to take a few seconds and let, like, again, Noah still get set up. And I know some of you are still making your patties. I can see the hands moving. Um, so we're just going to get started in a few. Okay, Noah, Noah says he's ready. So Noah's going to introduce himself as well. So we're going to let Noah introduce himself as well. He's from Master Chef Season 10. So, um, Noah, if you want to introduce yourself to the people and come just a little closer. <laughs> come just a little closer in the introduction. I'm in a garage right now because it's, it's been downpouring and then dry and then downpouring. So now I'm in a garage. An interesting setup. Here. So, uh, so my name is uh, Noah Sim. I was on MasterChef season 10. I got fourth place last year. Uh, it was an incredible life-changing experience. I've traveled around the world. I was in the Bahamas at the Dorian for uh, a good free trip. I was there for over a month uh, with Jamie from the show. I went to India for a month with Suba from the show. I mean, things have really been on the up and up. I met my wife in Times Square. I said, wow. wow. Yes. Ooh, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Got married in Times Square January 16th and then got married June 12th. So we actually had a big love oh. story. So it, it's been a heck of a year, a hell of a year. That was very okay. nice. That was really nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, this angle that I have is I can't see what it's looking at. It's like really, I'm like. We can see everything that's on your table. Yeah, yeah. we can so, see your table and you. So that's cool. You can see me. You can see the smoke filtering off of this thing. Can we see yeah. that? Yes. Okay, do I need to start doing some cooking or what do I need to do here? Um, we're just, I'm just going to check on everybody. How's everybody doing on their patties? Doing good? Okay, if everyone wants to get started, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, okay. so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your griddle hot. Yes. I don't have a griddle. I'm going to use a frying pan. Okay. Is that going to give me a problem? It's going to still give you the same char on your frying pan. You can also use a cast iron skillet. Um, oh, the same flavor. Okay. Is it a real good pan or is it a crappy pan? <laughs> no, it said is it a real good pan or crappy pan? That does depend I, on how your food comes out. It's a bit strong. It's a bit strong. Sturdy pan. Okay. It's one. Of, it's a pan that the mama would give over to you. Your grandma oh. may not give you this. Your mama gives you. Gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I like cast iron. If I can't use a griddle, I like to use cast iron. Mm -hmm. I got this black stone flat top, and let me tell you what. I swear to God, when I went down to the Bahamas, they didn't have anything because it's just a hurricane came through. And I prayed to God to give me something that I can use. 
two days later after I arrived, this thing was sitting in a storage unit up to the point of a 17 inch black stone. The amount of food that I was able to kick off of this, I found a deal at Dick's Sporting Goods two weeks ago before I shoot because I needed something to cook in the middle of the woods. And I found these for $89 at Dick's. Well, they did a price match on it and this company from China for $34.95. And I signed up for this uh, thing they had going. So I got it for $35. Greatest, greatest $35 I've ever spent in my life. When you buy this, you'll never even think about a cast iron. <laughs> oh, wow, you, you got master chef making sure that they still got a good deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to push so basically, I can see smart and sponsor me and just give me things, but until then, I'm going to buy their $40 <laughs> So, for, I I have a Farberware grill. Can you guys see? Hold on. I have a Farberware grill. I don't know. Let me see something. I want to see it. Can I see yeah, it? Like yep, yeah, I'm going to put, put it up because it's getting hot. So, I have a Farberware oh, okay. grill. If you see, I've been using mine, okay? It's good It's good and seasoned over here. I throw everything on this mug. It gets up to 420 degrees. They sell it at Walmart and Target as well, if you guys want to get this exact one. Um, yeah, I love this one right here. Do you have to put oil on it, like treat no. it like you do with iron castle? No, you do not. It is truly non-stick, not one of those like non-stick and then after you use it four times, then everything's sticking to it. No, it is truly non-stick and I love it exactly for that reason. And it has a tray for your oil, so all the oil goes into that tray as well. So. Oh, look at you. Look at you with the tray. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And what about so the one you, you guys uh, ever entered into a competition? Oh, you know, you know this stuff uh, guy's got to trade all day. With a little hand. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I, got, I got like a 16 ounce bacon grease catcher. I heard someone ask right. about a competition. What, who was that? Yeah, did you, yeah, ever, have you ever been on like a televised competition? I have not. I am self taught. This is, this is three generations of grandmothers. Three aunts and a mama over here. So, <laughs> um, mine's just baking a chef. I'm not really a chef. <laughs> <laughs> you just did a baking. whole season. <laughs> right on, Master Chef. <laughs> sometimes it just sometimes it just comes to people. Um, you don't always. I feel like you don't always have the need to have a culinary background to do what you need to do. Sometimes it just comes naturally. So I'm one of those people and I just learn as I go. I also take classes to learn other types of cuisine to keep my, my skills up to par. So I always feel like if you are self-taught and you didn't go to culinary school, then that is the best way to make sure that you're staying ahead of the curve. Because new techniques to cook come out every week, right. every day almost. I think Noah's over there cutting some onions. I feel like, Noah, are you cutting onions over there? No, oh, ma'am. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm lying. I'm cutting on it. I'm cutting the Vidalia from Vidalia, Georgia. The best onions on the planet. Uh, I'm that. using a, a Fukushima giant Serbian chef's knife that they sent me that is literally about 15 pounds. Uh, it's, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but you know, we're testing it out right here on live TV, so we'll see. Okay, so guys, I guess that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like, right? All right, so guys, you guys want to start on your onions. Now, you want I do slivers. I believe that's what Noah's doing over there. That's what it looks like. Does everybody know what a sliver is and not a diced onion? No. No, so what? Okay. So let me cut it, and I'm going to bring it to the camera. Okay. Okay. I have done this on my phone, but my phone almost died on me because everybody wants to call. So a sliver would be cutting it this long way. Can you guys see that? Cutting yeah, it this yeah. long way. Now it needs to be thinner. This oh, okay. is the top. This is the top of the onion. Um, if you want to do it diced, it's not going to take anything away from the sandwich. I just feel like it works better with this uh, chuck uh, beef that I have over here. Oh, do so, you? Do you? Is that how you feel about that? 
That is about the onions. I sure do. You do you because this is your sandwich. I do it both ways because I appease everybody. <laughs> okay. So I just do on my patty melts. I I strictly just do the the slivers of the onions. Um. Again, if you want to dice it, that's also your option because we're going to caramelize those and they're going to go on top of your patty, okay? Okay. Make sure you like part not living in the country, just having a compost. Oh, okay. To point the camera at your board? Yeah, yes. Hold on. Give me a minute. So is everyone on here from Georgia? No. I just live here. <laughs> I am originally from Brayford, North Carolina, which is about uh, 30 minutes outside of Fort Bragg. My mom um, is in the military. Okay. Yeah. Just raining, just enjoying it. I'm over here in Miami. I'm a Miamian. Tuning in. All right. <laughs> Some good southern cooking. <laughs> I'm going to move you guys, okay? This is a really dope media outlet. What's the media outlet? What's the name of your media outlet? My media outlet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your handle? Oh, I don't have a media. I don't have a media outlet. What I do is I promote on YouTube. So I have a big following on YouTube. So what I do is uh, post uh, interviews that I have with various people, whether it's culinary, whether it's entertainment. So that's what I do. Awesome. This stuff is very entertaining. You gotta check it out. It's Geisha One Fan. G E I S H A with the numeric one F A N. Can you put that in the cat uh, in the chat, Asia? Yeah, okay, that would be great if you could do that. Yes. Uh, that would be what are you cutting up over there? Is it just onions? Is it something else you should? Look at? It's just it's just onions. I was moving you guys so you can see me. But I'm supposed to type yeah, it in. You. I'm sorry. This is my first time on Zoom. You have to excuse me. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Oh, so you, did them in different, you did them in different ways. Is that okay. it? There we go. You guys can see this now, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got the pickle jalapenos, some homemade pickled red onions, some Cajun spice. You got a dish mayonnaise that you're saying. Let's talk to I'm going to freaking yell at you because you're a fraud. Uh, some kosher. <laughs> what? You're not about kosher talking about my mayonnaise, Noah. That, that stuff was not on the list. <laughs> me, it is not. No, <laughs> me and Noah have been arguing all day because he was oh, talking about my mayonnaise. Oh, it's about your mayonnaise? No, we're talking about my mayonnaise, y'all, and I didn't appreciate it. Like the Highlander of condiments, there is only one. Okay, we, the, the, we're the, not about the, to argue in front of company, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> we argued yesterday and this morning. We're not doing this right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're fun. Comfort Tropicana tonight. Are we supposed to do our sponsorships with breweries, creature comforts? There is no substitute, also. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? 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 If you have a drink, pop it out because Noah's already popped his out. Yes, yes, we're cooking. What? Yes. This is a real TV show. This is unedited. <laughs> right. This is how people cook at home when they got to feed their families. The only way to enjoy it is to drown out the noise with a nice cocktail. Okay, well, you wish we all drinking. Let me go get my drink. <laughs> That's right. By, by nice cocktail, I mean just a street and peak. I have no direction in my life right now. What do I need to be well, showing? You supposed to, we we cooking the onions, Noah. Okay, I'm good with cooking the onions. <laughs> <laughs> my onions, I like a little olive oil with a little Cajun seasoning. Mm-hmm. I'm coming with my okay, so oil. Noah, Noah's needs oil, but y'all don't. Chef, Chef Dad, no. you don't need oil? No, I add it just because it's cute. Yeah, oh. I, I didn't like to put flavor in the thing. Now, this is so the oil that, that I use. Is that tequila? What was that, ma'am? What is that? So what is that? Oh, it's, it's unfiltered um, olive oil. This is the olive oil that I use. Oh, okay. Um, you can get it at Target uh, and I believe Sam's. It's a, a 
Carapelli oil. This is the oil that I use. It's got a very robust flavor. Um, well, since we all drinking, I done poured me a shot in my cup, so here I am. <laughs> I know, right? I got the shot previously. I know. Here we are. I would feel bad, but I don't feel bad. <laughs> Nobody. I, I don't want you to feel bad at all. You drink it. That's what you want to do. You and your home. Someone saying something bad about me. What's happening? No, no, no. Never. No way. Nothing about you. Now, um, if you want to get these, you got so many ingredients, and our list was kind of short. Because <laughs> no, I wasn't supposed to I'm get. I'm thinking all these that. burgers aren't going to taste right. No, I wasn't I'm thinking my husband's going to be like. Clearly, <laughs> don't take direction from me. I don't know what's going on. Me and Noah <laughs> talked about this, and he still got the wrong stuff. So I gave you all the right <laughs> list. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so you want to get your onions translucent. Okay. They'll start to, um, when I say translucent, they won't be as white. Then you'll be able to see through kind of to the skillet on them. That's where you want to get these right here, okay? Uh, action. Action. Put it right now. What'd you say, Noah? All right, so, hey, okay, like these. They're cooking quicker, even though I put them on the same time as the dice. The dice I like on my patty milk because they have a little bit more rigidity. Some like caramelized, not me. Mm. I guess Noah said just cook how y'all want to cook these things. Smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> However, your onions fit for you. I like mine a little translucent, caramelized almost to that point before I put my burger on. And let the Anybody want to show me how their onions look now? Not quite there yet. Okay. How are you doing over there, Ernest? Um, I kind of stopped and just started watching. Okay. <laughs> I was going with the plate, but y'all was going kind of fast. I was still at the <laughs> taping the patties mode. <laughs> I apologize. We don't want to leave you behind. Oh, I'm sorry. We're okay with leaving people behind. Not really, I'm just joking. I like how you switch <laughs> your onions, though, because I normally would do them the way Noah does them, and then I kind of caramelize or whatever the word is. Caramelize them. Uh, <laughs> caramelize. There we go. Caramelize. There you That's go. The caramelize. You got there. <laughs> yeah, see? And I normally caramelize them, but then. I'm good, but I like the way you're doing them because they're going to be better on the bun. Yeah, because this mm. is Texas toast. is so big. You don't want, I don't, right. I like big right. ingredients on my Texas toast. Because mm. mm. honestly, tex, uh, my, my patty milks are usually for before I get, you know, have some drinks that grooves that I need. So I like my big ingredients. You know, I like it to be chunky. I think Noah's uh, onions are done. I'm going to keep mine on because they are not to the point where that I want them at yet. Okay. Well, I'm looking at some serious firepower here. <laughs> the Moab of flat tops. Yeah. I might eat my onions before the burger is ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're about to put the burger on now. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Everybody ready for that part? Mm. So I had uh, Chuck Angus beef. This is what this is. I made a big patty. Again, I like big ingredients. This is not how you shape your burger. That's fine. Noah has the uh, Beyond Burger. So I'm going to put two on here. OK, that's good, Noah, right there. I mean, get it. I don't know how. This is just coming. Look at this. Holy smoke. Working out. <laughs> All right. Now to do John Burger. This is gonna blow people's minds. Mm. <laughs> now a lot of people don't like the Beyond Burger that's in the store because they said it makes their house smell a certain way and it doesn't taste the best. That's um, what's so cool. 
porch side cooking in the garage. Zero smells lingering in the house. <laughs> Problem solved. Next question. Your is already made. All right, so sizzle. You hear that sizzle? Mm -hmm. I hear that sizzle. Yeah. That sizzle is good because I want it to literally shut down to the steel, crunch, mm -hmm. and press it, and it's going to release. So I want it to sizzle for a quick second. If anybody's using a griddle, mine is set to 370 degrees. That's what mine is set. Mine is wide open. Fire as hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take this spatula that looks like it's older than I am. I'm going to press it down mm -hmm. and twist a little bit. So what we're going to go for is kind of the steak and shake look. What did you say, Ernest? Was it, do you recommend that for a regular burger as well? As well? Aren't um, it the depends on how you make your patties. Mine don't need that per se. Um, but okay. his did because they were more in a ball. Mine were already kind of pressed and flat. Um, so he has to press his with the spatula to get it down to the level so they can cook evenly on the grill. Um, is that turkey or beef? What type? What type of meat is, is that? Mine. Mine is a chuck. Mine is a chuck beef. Okay. Yeah. Um, chuck, and then I have some Angus over here because my kids are bougie. Um, so I'm gonna cook them for those. <laughs> those for them as well. Um, but these I love because you get a good char on the bottom. Um, and it also depends on how long you how long you want to cook your burger. If you want it medium, medium rare. Some people don't like their burger all the way done in the middle. Um, so the cooking time will vary, especially if you're using a griddle or if you're using a cast iron skillet. Okay, I can put that in the chat as well. Um, but for me, I'm gonna cook mine about five to six minutes each side. That's exactly where I like it. And again, I'm using it's 370 degrees. Noah has his up to probably 560. I don't even know how hot his gets. This thing, this thing is not playing games. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you can see Noah doing, especially with the specific burger that he has, you want to season as you go. Um, I'm going to start to add a little bit of black pepper in here. It's a little bit of seasoning in here, but again, season as you go, it adds to the flavor as it's cooking. Okay? So I have this black pepper here. And I'm going to start to add this to my burger. And then I have a little kosher salt that I'm going to put on here. Um, it doesn't need much again because it's been seasoned a little bit already. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tell people a simple trick that's really awesome that they should do in their life. Um, so take good mayonnaise and with your patty milk bread, I want you to literally spread Duke's mayonnaise on it. And boy, mm -hmm. howdy, let me tell you with it. Give it a great crunch. Holy mm -hmm. Lord. Wow. Pure big bowl flavor. All right, this sucker should be like a golden crunch. Oh boy. Look at that. It's like my first fry. Amazing. Perfect. Can you believe that that is literally not me? Dear Lord. <laughs> Come on with it. All right. So you're going to take this delicious vegan bread that's not really vegan anymore, just splattered in delicious flavors. As you can see, completely coated. Do not be afraid of Duke's mayonnaise ever. Don't be a coward. I know I got some crap, okay? <laughs> What did you say, Ernest? Helm is all the way. I told you we've been arguing about this mayonnaise thing. That's why I just said mayonnaise of your choice. Let me see what I got here. My gosh. Okay. If you want to make an awesome sauce, Duke's mayonnaise, a little bit of Frank, Sriracha, take some kosher pickles. Dice that, that, up the kosher pickles, put some pickled jalapenos, some pickled onions, mix all that together, and buck up for some delicious flavors. That's the where he's making the spicy mayo, guys, right now. So if you didn't hear him, 
use your mayonnaise, hot sauce, or sriracha. I have sriracha as well. Um, a little bit of dill, and that's going to be your sauce for your patty melt, okay? I'm going to my sauce now. If you guys can't, can you guys see the char on this burger? Yeah. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Like, it's so cute. Okay. It's all pretty. Water. Same. You think you cool cool Okay. Mm -hmm. So so why are you what are you covering? He's covering the burger. Um it cooks it more Nothing. on the inside and adds a little bit of crunch. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Does anyone see that? My goodness. Okay. So Duke's mayonnaise hot sauce on the fly. How do we do this? Can you see the camera? All right. Yeah, we can see it. Good enough. Duke's mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Two different types of pepper. I want front and back, which means I'm going to go with a little bit of sriracha, which is my back. And I'm going to go with a vinegar base, which is Frank, for the front, so everyone's in the party. And then I'm going to take a dill pickle, I'm off camera, I'm taking a dill pickle and I am slicing it. I'll show you what it looks like in two seconds. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that food looks so good it made me start cooking. I was far away. I know, I saw, I saw that you just stopped. I was like, you're not even in the kitchen no more at this point. And then, and then when he did the thing with the bread, I'm like, I don't want to miss that. Like, <laughs> get a start. Now, that trick he did with the bread, it does make the bread extra crunchy. You can definitely tell the difference when you put the mayonnaise on the bread and put it on there. Now, I'm cooking a little bit slower because I know there were some other people that were not as fast as Noah. Um, and again, I don't want to leave anybody behind. <laughs> Pickled red onions in. A little bit of jalapenos. I'm going to put a little piece on the flat top. Using the flat top. Put my knife back in there. This note, we will be putting it out. So anybody who's trying to keep up, don't worry about it. Come on with it. Come on back. Noah's just going. <laughs> wow. All right. So there's your double. Can can, can we see those people? That's vegan, yeah. baby. Yes. That's a yes. Like All right. So that is so freaking hot. Sweet Jesus, that's hot. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Sounds good. That is hot. All right, we're going to turn that down. We're going to take this mayonnaise, because everything's ready to go. I'm going to whip this up with the pickled onion and the mayo. It's going to be delicious. I like to put pickles in there that are dill, uh, besides relish, because I believe they give an awesome crunch, and they hold the pickle in place, which is awesome. As you can see, Looks awesome. Great color. I don't put ketchup on a, on a burger like this. I don't need ketchup at all. I set that right off on the grill plate and then it's done. Okay. Down beef is done. How's your sauce coming, Chef? Mine is coming good. I have my bread on this the skillet at this point, the griddle skillet, what people call it different things. Um, and I'm toasting my bread at this point. The burgers will be done in just a few, and I'm going to transfer them over there, and I'm going to start melting my cheese to see. I have two, because again, yes? Are we supposed to add the mayonnaise on a toasted, on a, on a, Texas toast, even though it has butter already on it? You can, You don't have to do that, but it does add a different type of crunch to the bread if you put mayonnaise on top of it. But like I said, if you're doing this on the griddle, it's going to do it either way. You're just going to have to watch it, okay? 
with your skillet, with your skillet, your the um the mayonnaise will probably work best for you. So I have two types of cheeses here. I have the Swiss and I have the sharp cheddar again because I'm extra. Um, but you can use whatever cheese you would like. Um, like Noah said, he used a, a, a vegan. No, did you use a vegan cheese? Vegan cheese. Okay. And then totally screwed everything up by putting juice mayonnaise on it. That's totally fine. <laughs> now, um, for those of you that don't eat vegan cheese, my favorite vegan cheese is the BioLife. Um, oh, is it? Is yeah, it is. I like that one the best. But real recognized like what real. Real recognized real. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That cheese. Those, 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 I've gone through the tree. A lot of them taste literally like sawdust pulp. This <laughs> gives me at least hope that they're not totally robbing me. Yeah, and it melts great too, honestly. As you clearly see from this beautiful presentation, that's right there. Yeah. yeah. How's it going, Alicia? How's your birthday? Can she hear us? Alicia. Alicia. She got a mic on. I can't, how's it going over there? Oh, I can you. Not as well as I would like. What's going <laughs> on? Talk to me. Maybe they can help you out. What's going on? I can't really see that. They're just a little, they're a little too thick. Are they just smaller? A little smaller than I anticipated. I thought they'd cook down a little. Okay. Releasing the juices? John, that's perfect. Sweet All right. So, Alicia, what you do next time is just make them bigger because you got to account for um, the cook down process. They will shrink. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's all. But they look great over there. I'm used to feeding a lumberjack. Like, I just know big and thick and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> See? My, me. Me right here. This is me. Are these big enough? Yeah, so, golden brown. You see how pretty that is? See how perfect that is? Nice. Mm -hmm. So can you guys see mine? Mine looks like this. His, he did his with the, the mayonnaise. I did mine without just to show you either way. However you guys decide to do that, it, it still works out. I'm going to try to Amen to that. <laughs> Since I can't so put, now, since I got to do it. We have the Athena TK, it's a limited release creature comfort. It's bold, it's delicious. Wow, what a beer. I love it, I love it. Okay. Have Jim Bean Apple over here. Can I build the burger now? Can I establish the burger yes, you, now? You can go ahead and build yours. Like I said, I'm, I was going slower for everyone else, making sure that. No one really got too lost. But you were on the oh, roll, so I wasn't going to stop you. It was perfect. No. It was perfect between the two of you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take this delicious Coleman's must. This stuff hot as hell, but it's delicious. Yeah, All right, so we're going to take this pretentious British mustard. It's a patty <laughs> smell. So we're going to take the pretentious mustard and get a nice, delicious, pretentious spread of it. Weird. As you can see that. You kind of want it to coat that, not too much. All right. Now, I like to take some of this delicious pickle mixture with the red onion and put all that on there because that looks just absolutely delicious. My God, help my heart. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to take this beautiful, perfect patty, little trick, right at the last second. Take your patty to reheat, set it back on your flat top, bowl, I don't really care, bowl it, throw a little bit of water, you know, reheat it, and make the cheese look like stupid pretty, but I really don't care if you eat it. All right, so that goes on like that. Mm -hmm. I like to take some pickled jalapenos, because I'm a crazy person when it comes to heat, as you can clearly say. Now, I take my delicious onion, and I did two ways, but I like them this way, so I sit on the 
this, look at that. Mm -hmm. They're opening all this beautiful onion. Mm -hmm. I take the second texture to throw a curveball because I put both on because I want both textures. I put the caramelized mm -hmm. onion on top. So now it's got this incredible onion coming at me. I'll move everything away. Oh my God, look at that. All right. That's great, This goes on there. To paint my lantern sauce, it's totally not an appetizing color, but I don't really care. We're just being honest. Um, all right, a little bit of Cajun seasoning right over the onions, mm -hmm. and voila. All right, let me get a close up of that, Noah. Oh my God. Yeah, I need to see that right there. Cut that bad boy open, too. What's that? <laughs> In slow oh no, you can't see because you're not talking. Oh, there it go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks yeah. good, Noah. I want to bite. I've never put stuff on a burger in my life. <laughs> there we go. Look at that thing. Beautiful. My love. Wow. Wow. You just made two patties. I just made mine thick. Well, <laughs> you go. You two yeah. Oh, boy. That looks wow. good, Noah. Mm -hmm. Really good. I'm going to take it to the two dollars. That did you tell everybody what uh, Beyond Burger, what, did you use the actual Beyond Burger or use the, a different type of burger? <laughs> I use the beef. About how long you think I took? I use the hamburger. Okay. What did, What did you say, Ernest? How, about, how long should I let it cook on the other side when I flip it? What do you? What kind of beef do you have? What kind of eat? What kind of beef do you have? Yeah, crunchy. Um, stuff like you. Okay. What's the What's the heat? Is it medium high heat? Yeah, it's medium. Okay, you want to see that? I I cook mine for about five to seven minutes. If you want to just lift it up and check it, make sure it's got a good um, crunch on the bottom, then do that, okay? Mm. Noah is over there, this team. Can you guys see what I'm doing over here? I didn't need today. I didn't either. Can you guys see what I'm doing over here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can. So I have taken my bread off. I've already put um, the spicy mayo on here. I like mine real simple. Cause see this right here, this bad boy right here, it's gonna got me through a many hangovers. Okay, y'all listen to what I All mean. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay y'all listen to me. That looks good. Now I'm gonna cut mine. I, I asked Noah to cut his, but he bit his. Now see, this is how I like mine. See how it's oh, brown, see how it's brown, 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 and then a little bit pink in the middle. Can you see that? Well, wait, wait. Down, yeah. Yeah. See how it's brown, brown, so pink in the middle. Oh, That's how I that like mine. Good. Now I'm cooking this a little bit longer because my children will be eating this. Um, they don't need to be eating that type of meat. But I'm about to tell you this right on up, okay? No, I don't oh, look at that. <laughs> no, okay, tearing it up. That is awesome. Uh, so this will probably stay on for about four to five more minutes. It'll cook the center, mm -hmm. and then I can go ahead and give it to my children because I know they're starving. I'm starving. Everybody's starving. Um, so since we are done, if you guys want to start with the Q and A, while I'll go ahead and finish cooking the rest of these burgers up for the kids. If um, whoever wants to start first, I know there was a uh, Geisha and Sahira that wanted to ask us for questions. Okay. <laughs> you want to go further? Me, Patty. I'll, I'll start. I don't have a problem. Okay. Um, again, my name is Sahira. I'm a reporter for Channel ATV. Um, Seth Desmond. Um, hey, how are you? Um, <laughs> what would you say are like three main ingredients of must have? I, I would say right now in your kitchen. Three must have ingredients. Yes. You want to have a grain, like a rice, a quinoa. Um, you want to have 
good seasoning because no one likes bland food. Um, so that could be either a seasoning salt, herbs per the bond. Like you want a good solid seasoning. Um, and I think the last thing I would say would be a, a vegetable of some kind. No matter what you're making, you can always do something with those three items. Okay. Noah's no, Richard. He hears because Noah's eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have a question for Chef Noah as well. Um, Chef Noah. Don't call me Noah. I'm not a chef. I'm a fake chef. <laughs> oh, I would say, like, um, I always say a food visionary. So being on, like, different TV shows, what would you say your master plate would be? Um, cooking with time. What would you say that are the major ingredients to creating a masterpiece when you're time under a time environment? How much time do I have? Uh, uh, right now, just a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, to cook it. No, how much, how much time to cook it? Oh, to cook it? Um, I would say 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's easy. Uh, I, just give me oh, a big block of A5, A5 Wagyu. <laughs> I'm going to make a carpaccio with a lemon thyme vinaigrette to drizzle over with some capers that I'll, I'll fry off real quick uh, mm -hmm. with, like, probably a, uh, a tzatziki sauce. Wow. So do you, would you say it's more of <laughs> uh, experience? Come on, these are 20 minutes, right? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You took 20 minutes to make a dish. That's what I would do. If I could have any ingredient, I would take $179 a pound Wagyu A5 oh my beef. God. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So my last question for uh, Seth Desmond. Now, you did say that you have a catering business. Um, as a, and I always say a food visionary. What if like you have a client that has a vision that's different to your full vision? How do you um, kind of just check what you, the creativity to meet the client's needs? Um, first off, I research it because I need to know exactly what they're asking me for. Um, mm -hmm. Working customer service since I was 15 and a half. Um, I'm really big on that. If I can make my, my client's vision happen, I'll do it. Um, that's, I'm very big on that. I want them to understand that I care about what they would like for me. Um, so that's the best way that I can, you know, because it has to be like that. I'm not someone that's trained in um, Vietnamese cooking. I have made food. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just researching. I ask people around me um, because I'm not the most experienced. So it's good to have a good community around you. Hey, I just did this. Can you help me? So, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm always a student. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, I did. Can I change my mind and ask a question after all? Okay. <laughs> of course. Okay. Are you just ready for me to ask you a question? Oh boy. I'm finished. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. No, hold on. Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Welcome to the program. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who wanted to ask the question then? Go ahead, Geisha. Okay, so um, Pixel 3 XL, that's what you're going by, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, who was your inspiration as far as cooking? Was there someone in particular that made you want to uh, take up uh, cooking as a, you know, hobby or profession? Um, that would be my grandmother. Um, with us having a lot of more women in our family, um, it was just that was for that we would in the kitchen. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, I think, who was you asking that, that for? That was for Pixel Pixel Three XL. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a chef. <laughs> At least my family would disagree with that. Anyway. Um, <laughs> My mom cooked with a lot of sugar. Her tomato sauce was like with sugar. Her sweet tea is like McDonald's sweet tea. So I just wanted to seek out flavors. I also have um, typically closer to a vegan lifestyle. Um, but so my inspiration came from just having more natural food options at my fingertips. And just 
trying to find creative ways to do that. Thank you. So this question is for um, Chef Desmonet. Okay, so has there ever been a meal that you had a difficult time uh, preparing? Yes, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. <laughs> you know why? Because I wanted to taste exactly like my grandmother's and I just could not. I don't know what she did. Oh, and I was getting oh, so God. frustrated. So I finally went to her and I was like, Grandma, hey yo, what, what you putting in here? Because I know how to make it. I got a good flavor profile on mine, but it's missing something. Like I'm very good if I can taste it. I can kind of tell what's in it. Um, I have a great palate like that. And it was dog. Mm. Um, what was it? She had put a little cinnamon in it. Mm. So, um, so would you say your grandmother was the type of person that kept her her recipe as a secret? She tried, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was I went to her because I'm her oldest great grandchild. I said, Grandma, I thought I was your favorite. Why, why do you want to tell me what you put in there? I kind of guilt tripped her into because didn't know my my grandmother, her daughter didn't even know. I was like, come on, what she was like, it's a little dash of cinnamon sugar. And I was like, all right, bet. And I believe, let me tell y'all something. When I put that in my, my food, I said it hit cloud a little bit. Cause I was like, Cinnamon, chicken pot pie. I've heard it all now. Oh hell. <laughs> so, Richard, Richard Noah Sims, this is for you, Richard. Okay, okay so <laughs> normally when people say Richard Noah Sims, my ass is trapped. <laughs> I'm in trouble. So, come at me. Come at me. I wanted your <laughs> undivided attention. That's okay. So, listen. Focus like a peregrine falcon. <laughs> so, um. Has there ever been a moment, because your food looks very delicious, I'm telling you, I, you got me hungry over here. I'm hungry. So, has there ever been a moment or experience that someone was very unsatisfied with your cooking, and how did that make you feel if you ever experienced it? Um, have people lied to a six foot seven, 265 pound juggernaut chef to their face? No, but people have probably talked a bunch of mad shit behind my back. So to be humble, definitely, definitely people have thought crap behind my back, but not ever to my face. No one loves me that much, not even my wife. So, so that would mean that your food actually tastes good. Right. Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay told me a bunch of things that I made was absolute crap. Um, so he's about the only person that just screamed, blood curdling, screaming at me about doing something. So I enjoyed it. I laughed about it all the time. I'm always a fun guy, and I'm not intimidated by literally anything. So, you know, I, 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 of course, have screwed up so many times. But what I've learned in the kitchen is you really don't have any failures or mistakes if you're smart enough to recognize it and learn from it and move forward. So, like, wow, if, you awesome. cook over, if, you, if you overcook a steak, just note to self, I cooked this steak to 137. I needed to drop it down, carry it over, so cut back two minutes. So you can always learn from something. So even when you're screwing up, those can be your biggest learning experiences. If you're humble, non-narcissistic, and actually want to learn, I'm a sponge. So like, <laughs> if I screw up, I will literally be like, I'm the, I'm the idiot that messed this completely up. I will take full responsibility because I'm going to sit there like the savant that I am, and I'm going to soak that moment up and never do that again. Yes. Yes. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this, this bun is delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's it is smack dab in the mouth like Duke, Duke's mayonnaise. You put that on like crap shingle and eat it. I am literally oh, I nice that I need I'm about to tear my food up. Pickled onions and sriracha sauce and all the extras. Mine would probably taste oh. the same. Look at that big bowl flavor. Look at that setup. We got salt. We got We got boar's head. We got smack your mama Creole seasoning. You can name it. Look at that. This is like a professional that has done this before. This is a first, though. And none of that was on the list, Noah. 
I love it. Oh, half the time. I told you that. I was honest. Look, there's a fly trap behind there because they don't want any flies to stick to the wall. <laughs> Clearly, I'm totally a mess, but we at least made a ridiculous sandwich in one. If there was an actual. I enjoyed race, you guys. I'm sorry. I got to be out because I have a whole other meeting. I'm, I thank you. I All right. Thank you guys. Yeah. Nice right. We'll be talking to you soon, okay? You have a great night. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Love, everybody. I think no. <laughs> Am I supposed to go? Is everyone no, hanging out? No, you're not supposed to go. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Shit, shot fired. Shot fired. Oh, I'm just <laughs> going to go. I'm 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 going to go. i am going to go i am <laughs> no, it's just in his barn having a great time, guys. You guys have been great tonight. Does anybody have any more questions? Is anybody done with that food? I would love to see you. We're past the free question stage. They're $15 a question now. We're past the free question stage. <laughs> it's, eight, it's 8 o'clock now. After 8, it goes up $15 a question. I Nothing have no questions. We said no. Okay. That's my last question. <laughs> When you was on the show, did you prefer the team challenges or when you had to cook for yourself? Well, as you can clearly see, even with the even with everybody trying to take out my kneecaps for the first uh, month and a half, I was winning everything team challenge. Like behind the scenes, as soon as I got to the hotel with 85 people, I identified as Nick and Sarah as my head competition and kept calling Sarah an alpha. So then when we do practice rounds, and I beat the shit out of people like a Cherokee war drum. Uh, when I got to the first team challenge, when they said Sarah, I automatically knew I was going to be the team captain and I was going to mop the floor with them. So team challenges, as you saw on the racetrack of me being also a juggernaut hammer, uh, were easy for me. Love team challenges, even when we were in Gordon Ramsay's restaurant and I was going into anaphylactic shock because I'm definitely allergic to shellfish and we're cooking prawns and scallops yeah. with no hood fans on because you can't hear the camera. So I'm on 75 milligrams of Benadryl and I can't even think and I feel like I've smoked about a bale of weed and it's just going down like the end of bird. That team challenge was pretty rough. But other than that, I feel like I was an absolute war machine on every challenge. Um, when I, when I did, uh, the cast iron challenge and I was blinded by thinking about other things, not culinary, that kind of didn't work out. But other than that, I, I enjoyed every cook. The, um, the cook with the, uh, armored plated, uh, sea bass mm. to go to London where we knocked out Micah and Micah is one of the worst human beings I've ever met in my life. He's a fraud, <laughs> a liar. Um, whenever we knocked him out, that was like the greatest accomplishment in my life because all the culinary department, like Mary and all the people that are on like Gordon shows 24 hours of hell, that culinary team came up to me, Nick, and was like, this is the best thing we've ever seen in 10 years. And that was the greatest accomplishment in my culinary career was being on a single challenge where like, put your money where your mouth was the day before I told the story writer being like, you know, I'm sick of Micah being a, 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 a bunch of stuff that I can't say on camera. Put me against him. I'll throw him <laughs> home. It happened. It was awesome. It was epic. Um, and, I mean, so anything, man. I feel very confident in cooking because if I don't know something, I'll immediately tell you that I don't know how to do it. Explain it to me, and then we're rolling. Like the team challenge, the team challenge that night, me and Sam are hanging out uh inebriated and we spent two and a half hours going over hypotheticals that we could possibly be cooking and if we were on the same team this is how we're going to execute one of the things we spent an hour and a half on was if we did fried chicken because we know it's going to be a big quantity and it has to be fried chicken <laughs> so we laid out this whole thing for fried chicken so then when it happened and like you're cooking fried chicken me and sam were like that's it game over like and sam knocked it out of the park couture knocked the fish out of the park she grabbed me with two hands and told me that she's british and that nobody can cook fish like her like game on so you know i i enjoyed it all is that the longest answer i could give you no that was a good one though 
<laughs> I'm glad you had fun, Noah. It was wild, not yeah. mild. <laughs> my carpenter buddy's here to build shelves uh, for my wife for her shoes. Do I need to cook something else? No, oh. we're we're done cooking. We're just having conversation right now, Noah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, All right. You can't, Noah, you're excused, but I just have another question for <laughs> Chef okay. All right, Noah, if you want to go ahead and go. Everybody say goodbye to Noah. Thank you so much for joining. We'll give you a shot when it's connected, when it's all put together. Absolutely. Yeah. I love this. I had a blast, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Much. much love. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, my question is, so I have started doing events in my backyard for like 70 or less. Okay. And what are some of your favorite catering, easy to do? What I would love to do eventually, because my husband and I both love to cook. He's catered before, but when it became work, he said he didn't really enjoy it as much anymore. Um, but like, I kind of think with like a team effort and as much as I love doing my events and promoting my yard and doing what I do. Sometimes it's as simple as 12 to 15 people and a Sunday brunch, sometimes okay. 125. But what are some of your quick, easy, um, prepare ahead favorite catering sides or meals? Shrimp and grits, because you can keep the grits actually warm all day in a crock pot. Once you cook them, you can transfer them to a crock pot, you can cook them in little small portions, little spoons. They're really cool, they're really cute hang the shrimp over, the, the presentation just looks like you just went through so much to do it. It's so pretty. A little bit of green onions or chives or parsley on top, give it a pop of color. Um, deviled eggs, you can make those ahead, pop those in the fridge. A cute dessert, like a, like a banana pudding or a strawberry shortcake. The smaller portions in a little um, container, you can just pull those out when it's time to do those things. Those are actually my most requested things, honestly. Um, I think finger foods are a favorite for everybody. Yes, yeah, sliders, small sliders, mm -hmm. those are an option. Um, if people want to eat like turkey sandwiches now, you can actually use the um, the um, honey, what is it? The the buns. It's, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. It really is. Hawaiian rolls? Like real, yeah. real, real. You can use the Hawaiian rolls. You can cut those in half. And you can put your toppings in there. You close those back, pop those in the oven about five minutes, 325. Pull them back out, put them in a little cute tray, boom, put them out. There, there's just something quick people to grab. They can just grab and go, grab and go. You know what I mean? You're not trying well, to- I really want to accommodate the, uh, especially with the new COVID, everything that's going to come out. This is going to yes. be a game changer for businesses, for events, for caterers, for everybody. So. I just love like my small events because I can make it personal. I can do cute yes. little desserts, but you don't have that option with large groups. But now I want to kind of customize a pack, a wedding package for somebody yes. or below, and okay. be able to handle in house as much as I can because that's what I love to do. So yes. like the finger appetizers or the like grab and go, you know, horrible assorted like that's exactly what I'm talking about. I just you know, fun yeah. fresh ideas. I can get that. Um, because a lot of my weddings got moved back, so I definitely get what you're saying, especially with COVID, because people had canceled. Um, if you want to like, like prepackage kind of sorta in like a see-through container, um, that also works because people can see what's in the box and like have an assorted thing that way people don't have to be touching near other people's food and things of that nature. Or if you want to set them out, you can get the containers with that have lids on them. So that they have lids, you know, people don't have to worry about if, if someone was touching that or picked it up and then put it down, you know, just to be safe. Um, those are also an option. Um, or if you would like, wear a mask and just pass it out. That might be a little bit harder for you to do, but if you, you just go to extra mile to make sure that people are understanding that they're safe, this is a safe environment, you can eat this food, that might also be an option. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anybody else have a question? I feel like 
<laughs> Not Monique. Where did she go? Where did she, she go? Did she just leave? Like she have a, you have a question, Sarah? I, yeah. I have a bunch of questions. <laughs> okay. What's going um, on, Tia? Okay, so I'm, I know catering can be like the day of the event, very crazy. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say? I'm all about now, like now that we can go out a little bit, what's must have easy um, when you're catering an event as far as your spice cabinet? What should I, not that I want to be a caterer, but I want to <laughs> present a presentation that people are happy with. So yes. what would you say are the three must have on event day, like um, spice wise? Spice? Salt, pepper, and a, a fresh herb. A fresh herb. Can't go wrong with now, that. What, what that could be the basil, that could be parsley, parsley, dill. Parsley, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, this is where I run into a little bit of a problem where you okay. have like um, the people that are diabetics and they don't want the spices in the food. So I'm okay. like, do I put it or don't I or do I wait? I know that's like a second. Um, for those people, you can, well, see, you can also add the option of um, having packets for people to season their own food, if it's that, because you don't know who it may be. Um, right. You don't need nobody going and falling out nowhere. Uh, so right. if you want to give the seasoning packets <laughs> to them, um, that is definitely the thing. Now, see, I season my food, but to a certain point, because I realize that people may not like the, the type of seasoning that I like. Um, so I go mm -hmm. to season because I don't want it bland, but I stop at a certain point. And then if they need to add so a little bit more, like a pinch more, that's usually what people ask people are doing. They was like, oh, this is good. But I just need like a little pinch of salt. I would rather that than it to be too <laughs> salty. Right? You know what I mean? Because right. once it gets too salty, then it's inedible. You know? What can you do? I, and yeah. speaking for my friends, my friends, they be over seasoning the food, and I'm like, so I need a water peel after this. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> I need a water peel. That's what I'm trying to avoid. My blood pressure, I feel it just going up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you put in here. Like, it's just, oh my gosh. So I would rather like under season just a tidge and then have them add their own, uh, uh, you know. Okay, with the package. People that have okay. those types of issues. Same thing with sugar. Um, yeah. Same yeah. thing with sugar. So I make a sugar-free dessert because I have a lot of people that hey, these are the dietary needs that I have. Da, 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 da. So I make sure that everybody is accommodated. This is why this is uh, what happens in my consultation. Hey, do you have any guests that will have any allergies on a specific diet? Do they need less things? Do they need a specific drink? Because some people need to take their medicine at a certain time. The wedding might be going on. Um, so these are all things you have to ask um, so that you don't have those issues. Because again. I don't want nobody falling out. I, I don't know no CPR. And um, I don't want to be responsible for that, you know, and I also right. don't want anybody getting hurt either, you know. Um, so, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you had, that answers another question, have you had that to happen ever in your career where not you directly, but it was just um, not received well due to like an underlying health condition or anything like that? Uh, not received well, um, but people are always going to have an opinion on what you do and how you do it or what they could do, what you could have done better. I take it as uh, constructive criticism um, because this is my business. This is how I want to run it. But if you're going to give me good advice, I'm going to take it. Hey, I apologize for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying what you just said to me so that I can be better in the future for my future clients. But no, it hasn't directly happened to me. Uh, but if it did, that would be exactly what I would say. Uh, because you can't take it as, oh, they just didn't like my food, or oh, this and that, and the third. It's always going to be someone that doesn't like the way you did something, and they could have done it better. And instead of saying, well, well you could have did it, I'm, I'm like, thank you for that. Because I, I needed to hear that. <laughs> That's the best way I have. That's the best way I have for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, well. well, does anyone have any more questions? No. I don't no? Okay. I mean, all right. Is, did I everybody mean, finish you want a tour of my property so you could give me all kinds of advice? <laughs> we, can, we can do that tomorrow. Because I'm going to go live yeah. and I'm going to make a um, crab stuffed filet mignon with some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Mm. Oh, I mean, my husband will never leave then. I, he wasn't leaving before, girl. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I know. 
I know. I know. Oh, that <laughs> girl, he'd be a fool. Where he gonna find another you at, girl? Tell him that. Where, where's she at? Exactly. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Ernest. This is the whole girl's thing. Monique, you doing okay over there? Sorry. I am doing good. Thank okay. you so much. This was All definitely right. a pleasure. Okay. Well, guys, oh, eat because my stomach is in my back. Okay. Yes, another sir. question about the, uh, the toast. Should do I need to put butter or anything in the pan, or because I got mayonnaise and butter on it, I don't need it? No, no, no. You're fine. That will crisp on its own. Do it at a medium, okay. uh, a you. low to medium what heat. He, what he wanted to hear was yes. You do need butter. Butter. <laughs> butter already on the bread. It doesn't need to add more butter. Uh, <laughs> He's like, okay, butter, you. butter, right? You're welcome. Butter. Right. You can put butter on everything. That's my grandmother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys, for having me and for your time, Chef. Like, this was a great, great night. You guys are welcome. Right. I look forward to seeing you guys back. Um, thank okay. you so much. Right. You guys were amazing. I loved your questions. They were uh awesome and great questions too because some of those i was like well i never really thought of that um again <laughs> Bree, thank you so much to vip section tv for allowing me to do this um we're going to announce again where we're going to do the next session if you guys want to invite other people if you guys want to come back um so right. we're going to see you soon i thank you so much you guys have a great night okay thank you, thank you. Right. bye guys bye -bye. Bye -bye. okay goodbye